Just real quick, we have just released these. These are 3M reflective jackets. These are our V3 windbreakers. We do them in orange and black, but loads of people requested this, which is reflective. So these are like real good if you ride home from work late at night and you need a reflective jacket. They're good if you just want to be edgy and be shiny. Um, they're just cool. And in like in normal light, they kind of look dark gray, so they're pretty subtle, but then when like light reflects on them, they just look sick. Um, they have a embroidered BQR, like a metallic BQR on the wrist there. We've got um, the little BQR zip. We have our breathable mesh lining. We've got waterproof seals on the zip and stuff like that, so you won't get wet if you're wearing them. And just all around, these are like a pretty thick quality, so if you spend 65 pounds on this jacket, you also get a free pair of socks, because we do free socks over 50 pounds, and these jackets are 65. So, grab a jacket, there's a link in the description, you get a free pair of socks, and let's get back to the video. Right, we're here. Uh, shaggy? Shaggy. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of shit to unload. My bootstraps decided to stop working last night, so I'll brew me. <laughs> Why are you cutting it off? That was good. I like that. He's gonna bash walls with it and rip the whole system off. Yeah, in one, won't I? You've done a real nice cut of that, well done. Yeah, I'll do it properly and whatever. Yeah, right. You scared? No. You nervous about your no. car? No, that's your idea. I am a bit. Not me. My car. Ah, uh, you're right. What is in it? Because the Lexus is bulletproof. The BM is like, we've touched it, we've done it all. That's yeah, the worry no, that's of me, man. <laughs> Should be alright. We got Al here today, because he fancied coming along. And then we remembered that he has a drone that he hasn't touched for about four years. Yep. So we might get some aerial shots later. And I'm gonna go do my first laps and see what this car's like. ABS ASC 38. That one. Pop that back. Let's go again. Oh yeah, lovely job. Right, next set. Alright, we've got fresh tyres on, so it's going to be a bit grippy now. Right, this is it, good luck.
I forgot to do the giveaway. Again. Always. So, this week I'm going to give away this t-shirt because I was wearing it in the video. Um, so, this is our Summit Long Sleeve Tee. If you want to win one of these, all you got to do, drop a comment down below. Um, let us know if you want to see the next video as the coupe engine reveal, my green BMW, because we got the engine for it already. So let me know if you want to see that, or do you want a bit of a break between BMWs and like do something different? I don't know. Drop a comment. Are you coming to the car meet? Have you bought your ticket? Anything. Just leave us a comment down below and you win this t-shirt. That is the winner from last video, and let's get back to skidding. I'm going through tires at a quicker rate than I expected. So I'm sending Al off and he's gonna to go to the tire shop <laughs> and get some more. To be fair, the tires I bought stupidly were from scrapyards and they all had dry rot, so I've gone through them pretty quick. Little bandit. What have you done? What did you do? Oh yeah. No, he decided to go in a three-car no, 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 We were proper tires are oh, following me. Doors, <laughs> Look to the side, Dan was right now. No. And who's right behind Dan? Yeah. Me. <laughs> That's all he's got. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my indicator lens cannot cause that damage. That's actually mental, isn't it? And it's not, it's not a street fault at all. Nah, it wasn't my fault at all. 100 brake, 300 brake. What do you expect? <laughs> Sorry to keep interrupting the video, um, but I need your guys' help. I need you to throw some hate at Birmingham City Council. <laughs> That's it. Basically, Birmingham City Council are being shady as fuck. They're trying to go over the proper channels and flatten the ground and sell it for property development. They're basically just trying to make a load of money. They're going to shut down a motorsports arena that's been around for like however many years. If you have two seconds of your time, all I need you to do, if you are on Instagram, this is the handle, go on their latest photo and just comment saying, you're shady, save Birmingham wheels, or stop being corrupt, save Birmingham wheels. Something along that lines. If you're on Twitter, their Twitter handle is the same, Beham City Council. Stop being scumbag, save Birmingham wheels. Tweet. So yeah, if you haven't got Twitter, just do it on Instagram. We get to keep our drift track. Birmingham wheels get to stay open and some fucking rich boys don't get to make themselves even richer. So thank you very much. Let's get back to skidding. <laughs> I wonder if he's been success. Have you been successful? I've been very successful. Oh yes! Look at that, the freshies. <laughs> How much were they? Uh, only twenty quid each. Twenty quid each. Yeah, he thought my name was Andy, and he thought I was from around here, and uh, he was like, "Well, I'll do a special." Compound. It was a little bit dodgy though. Yeah, that's right. Nice one, legend. Cheers. Yeah, job done. Gosh. Oh. 
Oh my god, there's loads left! Yeah, man. Al's got the drone in the air, so uh, let's cut to some drone footage. That is brake fluid, hissing. And I think all this tire bead Mate, that is ridiculous. has just choked my brake line and just ripped it or crushed it or something. It was weak anyway, it was pretty corroded. I should have changed it, but hey. I'm gonna try and get all that tire off that drive shaft and then I'll get back to you. That is all the tire that was around my drive shaft. That is disgusting. Okay, lesson learned. Don't run tires until the very end. Where is it broken then? Uh, no, I think it's literally on the bottom, to be honest. It is. It's very crusty anyway, isn't it? Yeah. We just put a whole new line on. Dan's just bought over all this. Lucky we got you, isn't it? <laughs> I did try and prepare. Yeah, but who brings brake lines and fittings, really? <laughs> you. New line is in. We're just bleeding. Dan's <laughs> flicking some shit. Do you want me to get on the pedal? Yeah, I get on the pedal. All right. Down. Yeah. Oh, oh, she's a squirrel, eh? Pump it and then hold it on. Hold him. Seems alright. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, solid. Lovely job. I'm on it now, mate. Thanks, Dan. Yeah, man. What are we doing? So we're opening up the. I don't know. I guess it's like the extended corner, isn't it? I guess. So oh, instead yeah. of going that side of the lamppost, yeah, we go that side. side. But apparently, it's it, it so goes super grippy and it like Honestly, tries to straighten it. Apparently. I don't ah, okay. Know. Cool. She's saying. Right. You figure this out then. I reckon you're actually fine. Extra clutch kicks, boy, you should be fine. Oh, that was it. That's quite scary running that wall, like with the fucking thing in the middle.
so close. <laughs> Sick. Well done. Cheers, man. I used to be terrified of Dan as well. <laughs> I used to be fucking scared of him. <laughs> that was fucking bad. <laughs> you DB'd in it. Dude. He hit the fucking, he hit the block and DB'd. That was fucking sick. <laughs> I was terrified to let you chase me through the through that straight bit. Dude, you're on it. The, I was just talking to the lady who runs it. Yeah. She was like, you two are savage. And I was like, yeah, it's his second drift day, so I no way. Oh, that's cool. Which is nice. That is cool. That, that, was, that was the best driving one. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Had fun. Oh fuck me! I'm really so good. good, isn't it? Just unreal. I better sort that out and see if we can get home and pack up. All right, we're back home. The compact made it. I am so so impressed with this car. I know a lot of people have said that six pot compacts are amazing to skid and it's like a tried and tested formula, but still blow my mind. Compared to the IS200, I'm very, very glad I sold that and swapped it for this. The IS200 in second gear, if the wheel speed dropped, it sort of bogged down. You had to do loads of clutch kicks to get it out, it just wasn't powerful enough. This thing just ate it all day. I think going through all that work, selling the Lexus, and just swapping that was definitely worth it. I'm gonna take a break from the compact for a while. Next video, hopefully, we're gonna do the engine reveal on the coupe. Don't forget, drop a comment down below and you'll win this t-shirt. Also, the windbreakers, the reflective windbreakers, they're on the website now. There's a link in the description. And thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this series. This isn't the end, but like I said, I'm gonna take a bit of a break. So, uh, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Drop a comment. Goodbye.